Can I have your attention, please? John, mate, it's been great. On behalf of the whole team here at Parramatta, we'll never be able to replace your 15 years of service. And we're saddened, but excited, by the changes that are going to be made here at Quick Post. And I'm sure you're excited to be going on a vacation rather than staring at one on a postcard. <laughs> <laughs> John, mate, all the best. Cheers. Mate, uh, I'll need your name tag back. I mean, you don't need it, and we might be able to use it for some other John that comes along. Okay. okay. Look, don't worry, just bring it in on Monday. Darling, oh, I'm not the distance runner I used to be, eh? You shouldn't strain yourself, Mrs. McPherson. I'm not rolling on wheels yet. Oh, it's great that you're here so early to take care of my usual package. I've got a morning tea to go to, so I was lucky to catch you. Mrs. McPherson, I can't take care of this. Why not? Well, I don't work there anymore. You've worked here for 20 years. For 20 years, it hasn't been a problem. Now you're out of the game. You're the only one I can trust with my usual package. There hasn't been any problems since. Oh, exactly. It's bad enough with all the rules for sending dangerous goods. Mrs. McPherson, what type of goods? It's just flammables, packed perfectly well, that's all you need to know. Oh, this is bullshit! Why did you let them stuff you off like that? I am never going to find anybody as good as you in this day and age. Look, I don't want to get into a beef. Just handle that one for me, and then get one of those young whelps in there to help me with my usuals. I'll see you then at mine for scones and tea next week. Scones and tea, Johnny. Just me, you, butter and jam. Eh? Yes, ma'am. Great. That'd be a good lad. Look after that for me. Make sure it all goes smoothly. Oh, shit.